The digital marketing manager's role is to live the brand, breathe the brand, and to be the brand. And to be able to do this, it's vital to learn as much as possible about the brand and understand the goals of the organisation. What follows is a series of questions that will help understand these and unearth the hidden goal beneath. Now we've developed these questions to help us quickly understand and get a picture of where the business is and how we might be able to support it. Now the important thing to note is that these questions should be delivered as part of a natural and fluid conversation and that would usually take around about an hour. Your role is to set the environment so that the person that you're talking to is able to be open, honest and fair. Then you must take notes, listen and learn. Start by opening the conversation with some seemingly unassuming questions like how are you, how's business and then ease through the following. Now these questions help us discover more about the business, its history and why it even exists. You could ask questions like, please tell us a little bit about the history of your business. How did you get into this line of work? What led you to set up the business? And where do you think your competitors usually get things wrong? Now it's time to probe for the numbers that are critical to the business. We want to learn whether the business is growing, shrinking or staying the same as, as before, as well as discovering its commercial vision. Through these questions, we will also understand how target-oriented the team is. Remember that the person that you're talking to may not know all the answers, but the important thing is that they are challenged to think about them. So questions you might ask could be, what are the targets or objectives for the business? What does the business need to achieve this year? And how does that differ from previous years or maybe even the year to come? If you could describe in one sentence what making it would look like for your business, what would that be? How would you like others to describe your business? And what do you want to be doing in five years time? Now, where does the website factor in the business's day to day? Usually sales and lead generation are pretty crucial but websites can and should operate in many other ways. So questions you could ask would be, how does your site help you achieve your business goals? How does the website help generate leads and revenue? You know, for example, through online sales, maybe inquiry forms, uh, brochure requests, that sort of thing. What roles and purpose does the website play for the business? Who do you expect to use the website? And what do you want them to be able to do when they come there? How can the website add additional value to the customer's journey? What could the website do better than it's doing currently? Is the website performing as it should? How much revenue or how many leads does your website need to drive this year? And if your website was a person, what job description would you give it? For example, is it a salesman? Is it a customer service, marketing, technical support, that sort of thing? Now this is where we talk details on what a new lead or sale is worth to the business and crucially how much can be invested to acquire it. Now remember, the emphasis here is not on getting the hard numbers but to get the conversation going around conversion costs because this can be very revealing and can inspire the person being asked to go and calculate the numbers because very often you'll find that they really simply don't know the answers. So sorts of questions you could ask would be, what's the target cost per acquisition or CPA for the product? project? How much can be invested to make a sale? What's your average customer transaction worth to you? And then of your existing marketing, how much are you paying to acquire that new sales so of the CPA? Do you know your current conversion rate? You know, that's traffic to the website and how many inquiries that generates. And what percentage of those inquiries actually go on to do business with you? How long does it take for an inquiry to become a sale? And how long does a customer stay a customer? And do you know the average customer lifetime value? Understanding who you're marketing to is the foundation of any digital strategy. And here we learn about the profile of who that perfect customer might be for a business. Now this profile would include who stays a customer for the longest, who's the most profitable, and perhaps most importantly, who can get the best results from your product or service? Questions you might ask would be, within your current set of customers, which are your favorites? And if your business was made up of a greater proportion of your favorite clients, what would it look like? 
What characteristics do your favourite customers exhibit? Tell me about a project or a sale that went really well. Who's your longest serving client? Why do you think that is? And most importantly, are they profitable to you? What work in an ideal world would you want less of? And then thinking about your customers, where are they geographically? And then again, your target customers, where are they digitally? You know, do they use particular websites? Are they active on certain social media channels or perhaps industry forums? What anxieties and fears do your potential customers raise when they talk to you? What major challenges do you overcome for your customers? And perhaps most importantly, what do your customers really need? It almost goes without saying, but getting a deep knowledge of the products and the services that you'll be marketing is crucial. And you need to understand what's on offer, how it works, and who would be interested in buying it. Questions you might ask? What are the key products or services that are particularly important to your business? What's your best selling ones? Which is your most profitable ones? Which services do you want to sell more of? Have you got any new products or services that you're launching soon? And if you could name any product or services that your competitors already provide, what would they be? Why and when do you think pot potential customers are lost? And why have clients left you?